you need to remove your tire this particularly this one with the small okay so let's start with what goes in the doppels so I have a backpack that I put my my precious stuff when I get out from the hotel and go to the restaurant I have my map to show where where I am here's it's a uh, the secondary case for charger and and camera and uh, this is the main case with all my wire and the charger that I use every day this is a helmet bag that I put my dirty clothes in there this is my shoes here's uh, all my toiletry a bag with the uh, batteries charger ziplock and uh, monies and uh, sim card and uh, whatever and this is my clothes this is a safety net if i need to attach my my duffel to the bike and to leave it there to go to the border i think that i say my shoes this is my computer and this is a case this is a case i make uh, full aluminum but it's it's a little bit heavier than the, the macbook itself but it protect because when I, I, I put the, the rock strap of my duffel, it put pressure and it breaks the screen. The screen has dark spot now. This is why I try to free them. So, how those guys fit in this duffel? So this is the duffel. Now we'll show you I have a tank bag. In the tank bag, there's not so much. It's a small one. It's a, I think it's four liter. I, I don't remember. I think it's four or five liter. Actually, I don't like this tank bag anymore because this zipper, it's a really crap one. So this is a tank bag and uh, I have my drone and I have uh, stickers and uh, wire and uh, uh, GoPro battery in there in case I need. So I don't want to open all the duffel I have near my hand here. Now I'm outside, sorry uh, for the wind. I don't have a, a mic, external mic to put on the camera. So I will show you Pookie and all the stuff in there. Okay, so this is my little Pookie. So here's a gas bag. That by the way, uh, it's a, uh... wait a minute, I will open it. Okay, so. This guy, it's a giant loop bag, it's a two gallon. If, uh, I don't want to complain about the company, I don't want to make bad the review, but this guy leak most of the time. Most of the time, as you see, there's gas flying, there's, there's spot everywhere. The bag itself, not so bad. It, to, to fill the, the tank, it goes really well. But this guy always, so it always smells gas and sometimes it, it drops, it drops. And I have to, to work on the cap, try to find what's the problem in there. So no fucking ID, but it leaks. I contact where I buy it from Fortnite because I'm, because I'm, I'm away. You know, there's no way to get the warranty on it and whatever. So, so I live with it. So, let's continue. So for the one who don't know about Rockstrap, I don't have uh, money from those guys, but those straps are just amazing, amazing. I strap my, my duffel with those ones are really good. This kind of strap, not so bad, but crappy. This is not good strap. And, and come loose and they don't keep pressure. Regular pressure. So let's continue here. Okay. GPS, heat grip, USB, quite a lot for phone. My friend, when I feel lonely. Temperature. This is kind of the upgrade. And a foldable mirror from Touratech, those are really good. 
So this is the modification I do in front. So this is the uh, main problem to come. So first I will show you the welding. So here's part of the welding. We put the reinforcement and uh, on the other side also, you see better here. There's a piece of tie wraps coming out. And uh, the main, this is my toolbox. I will show you inside. This is the rack I made. And because I don't want to get the duffel in my back, because I put the duffel that way, yeah. So that's the way I put the duffel on the bike. So I have plenty of space to sit and to be comfortable when I ride. But on that way, it put all the weight in the rear of the bike. And if we see under the bike, as you can see the lights finish there but there's like one foot further for the top gate so i i know that that could happen but it happened should happen should it defend like we say so that that's the problem why do the subframe breaks so now i will show you uh, in the top case what is in there okay so i have my gloves when it's cold uh, two spare tube front and rear I have some strap that it was used to shift the bike and I keep it good thing because I use it yesterday when the subframe brake uh, here I've got some parts uh, clutch uh, sprocket brake pad the wheel bearing uh, oil filter air filter spare oil some GoPro stuff, uh, chain loop that uh, I use sometimes, spare straps. Uh, here, here I have a bottle. I don't want to open it, but it's a bottle that I don't remember the name. This bottle has a filter in there, so you could take any kind of water, put it in there, and you could drink it. So if you get lost in somewhere and you need to drink water from the forest, you could trust that. I don't remember the name but it's a good it's a good company so I will show you the toolbox now this is uh, my made <laughs> I made this toolbox okay my jack uh, off-road jack that's a good jack so ratchet kit gloves that peels baby powder put in the tire when you change the, the tube to, to make it slippery to prevent eating compressor dyna plug that's the one you have to buy this is the only compressor you have to buy this is the one that that works that is small it's light plugged directly with the standard plug this is the one you have to buy it's expensive like hundred dollars Canadian but it, it's the one First aid kit. And here I have some, uh, I don't know, some wire, uh, pressure gauge, and some tools, hammer, and thing, and a screw that I didn't find where I have to put it yesterday. And that, those two guys, those all the tire lever. You need to remove your tire. This, particularly this one with the small, the small step, it, it prevent to pinch the, the tube. I arrived to pinch it, but normally you're not able to pinch it. So all the other tools are standard tool. And so with that and my ratchet here, I'm able to dismount most of the bike. Yesterday I dismount everything with only my tool. To, to make the soldering this is a ratchet it's really small come back go there so in this case it's kind of waterproof I have sandpaper there and, uh, that's it so this is the kit so I will have to to manage to change the weight the, 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 where I put the weight on the bike to prevent the frame to break again but for sure I will try to send stuff 
to, to send the stuff to uh, maybe the car moto and, uh, and Buenos Aires. So I will be there again when I, I finish my ride to ship back my bike to Miami. So at the same time, I will put this box on the skid to ship by the airplane. So that's the, the, the tour of Pookie, like people ask. I think, uh, I, I don't know if I forget thing. Uh, some, uh, I have some other mud I did. So I put the, a rear shock uh, that I put really smooth to get the bike smooth when I, I go on the, on the rough road, but still the bike dismount. Put a plastic skid plate. I prefer those ones because there's no rattle and the slide on the rock when you get stuck. Uh, change the flasher to put more cute one. Uh, the change guard here. It's uh, the same brand of the skid plate. I think that's it. There's no, not so much uh, other stuff I put in there. But I love this bike still. He broke. I'm sad because he broke and the frame and the integrity of the bike has been attacked. But I love this bike. I love uh, the way it goes. It, it's, it's smooth. It has enough power to travel around the world. It's low. So you could cross the river, have your foot down, and it's easy to maintain. And, uh, it's a really nice bike, and uh, I could, I, I, I could recommend this bike for sure to people, but not with my my kind of rear setup. <laughs> so I will try to manage this setup. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of my travel setup. <laughs> 